Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly how I made my little coat hanger. Okay, you can see that. It's only small. I got these yesterday from Hazel and they've got a little coat hanger and I thought, well, there's only one got the coat hanger so I thought, well, I'll just make one and um, make a couple more. So, all I did, I got a bit of balsa wood which is a very good... Um, craft wood and I pushed in three thumbtacks but not quite all the way that one has got a bit of a crooked stem on it that's not going to work um, push that in there like that at about I don't know what size I thought it might <laughs> what it might like it to be then I got some wire like this now this is a 28 gauge and therefore it's a good this is the one that I made this one here out of, um, but I'm going to try now to get a bit thicker one because, and this one here is a 26 gauge. Now that's just 28 too. I could have sworn I had a 26 somewhere. Here in me, Sonia. Anyway, we'll live with what I've just done here eh, because we might as well stick to what we know. So you just come round the end like this with your piece of wire, go up to the top like so. Go around that one with either piece of wire, cross it over behind it. If it starts to get away, of course, you can press those down in there because that works real easy. Uh, leave yourself some twisting off bits <clears throat> and just twist that round, get your pliers and that round there like that. Take your thumb tacks out. Get a bit closer to the, the top of it and turn it round. I hope this is in the shot. And we've taken up a bit too high. I don't want it to be too high. We'll just twist that round there like that. A bit more. And you want to keep one piece, so we cut that off with me. Actually, these are scissors I got that are used for bonsai. I don't do that, but I thought they'd be good for cutting anything. Just give him a little straighten like so, how you want him to, to look. Cut that off up here. Get your little turnover on the end. Turn it back this way a bit. We'll paint all over me. Maybe we'll just twist that up a little bit further. Because we don't want it to get caught on anything or anybody. Okay, so we just turn it over like this. Hopefully under there I've got a coat hanger. There we go. Give it a little bit of a twist and a tweak here and there until you get it to look like you want it to be but what can be easier than that if you can't sort of feel like you can form it yourself or just do it the way that I did I thought well if you get a piece of timber anyway and put some little tiny um, tacks in like you know little tiny nails even to give yourself a, a basis to to make them on so that's what I did that's how I made me coat hangers make any size I imagine by just putting the um, thing the thing <laughs> the, the, the pins at, at any distance okay so thank you very much for watching that and we'll um, put that up and show you how I did that